you get a lot of value if you actually use the products and remember to update your cart. It's, I, I don't know, for me, after being in doTERRA for almost five years, it's a no-brainer. It's really... Hey, it's Lance McGowan here, and I wanted to bring to you a real-life example of how someone went from doTERRA LRP to a standard one-time order, and then back to a doTERRA LRP. And so this is important to note because the doTERRA LRP is like a hotel rewards program or frequent flyer program where you basically, the more oils you use, the more free oils you get in a nutshell. And I do have other videos that talk about it in way more detail. But I wanted to bring to you a customer of mine that, you know, I had a text conversation with and, you know, I monitor my back office or my shopping cart and kind of how you know, customers are getting value out of things to make sure that they're getting the most value. Um, so this woman, she actually, uh, she started off with a natural solutions kit, was on LRP, she got her points, their 100 points, product credits, and you know, she was on it. And then she got off of the doTERRA LRP, so she called them up and, and basically canceled. And people typically do that when they either aren't sure of the total uses and benefits, or when they maybe want a little more control over their buying experience, but don't realize that staying in it gives you way more discounts and way more free products and still gives you a lot of control. So I think it's more of an, um, an education retention thing, right? Because I do a wellness console that covers all the benefits, but it is kind of like drinking through a fire hose. But at the end of the day, people get off of doTERRA LRP very infrequently. Um, I did another video about this, but again, it happens very infrequent, but it does happen. And I like to kind of talk about how it happens and some learnings that I have so I can, you know, help educate people on really the value that it does bring ultimately. But anyways, I looked in my back office and I noticed that she had placed the order and part of my compensation is looking at who can make sure that they do at least a hundred point LRP and she had done like a 222 point and so she was missing out on some reward points she was going to get like 33 product credits back and i was just like hold on <laughs> so here's what i said um basically i said hey how are you i noticed you placed a standard one-time doTERRA wholesale order instead of a loyalty rewards program or lrp order and missed out on the free products of the month and rebate points would you be open to switching your order this month to lrp for free and getting the rebate points redeemable for free oils so a very straightforward, you know, text message there just saying basically, hey, you're missing out on some free stuff, basically. So um, what do you want to do? So she responded back, hi, Lance. I truly have no clue what I'm doing with my doTERRA stuff, even though we did a wellness consult. But and I give lots of blog posts and videos. That's that's cool, though. You know, simply again, it's you have to want the education, but also continue. I don't want to say continuously get educated, but you know, retain it in such a way where you can apply it. But anyways, here we go. She's a, she's an accountant, so she's not really interested in the whole maintaining of the wellness lifestyle that much. Although she does see a lot of value in the oils, different distinction. It's just the whole ordering online part. She even expressed that in the beginning. She was like, I love the oils. I just the whole ordering thing and remembering to order and, and and doTERRA does give notifications via email and text and stuff so there's reminders it it comes down to you gotta want to have a wellness lifestyle that's really the bottom line but we'll continue I still love her she's she's awesome <laughs> I'm just talking about the distinctions between like basically being interested in the oils and committed to making sure that you get them and aren't like scrambling when you run out because you're not on LRP and then you miss all the free stuff and da 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 anyways <laughs> She says, I don't, oh, okay. She says, I'm truly, I truly have no clue what I'm doing with doTERRA stuff, so I get stuff monthly I don't need, and that means she doesn't update her cart, which she gets reminders for. Um, and then I uh, just do a one-time order, and so she feels that a one-time order will give her what she needs, but if she just updated her cart, she would get what she needs, if that makes sense. <laughs> Hopefully it does. Okay, I am happy to switch, but I don't know how. <laughs> I have not had much time to go in and really figure it out. Sorry. So this is where I will call people out. Not in here, but I'll let, you know, be transparent with you. So everyone has the same 24 hours, 7 days a week as everyone else. So to say you have no time is actually not an accurate statement. What is more accurate to say is I have not prioritized this activity high enough for me to actually make something happen. That would be the most honest and accurate thing to say. And that's what I'm, that's how blunt I am with other people. If I truly don't prioritize something or somebody's asked me to do something, I'll either say if it's another network marketing company, you know, basically prospecting me for a business opportunity or a product, I'll be like, hey, 
you know, I'll, I'll look to see your products and see if I have a need. If that needs being fulfilled, then I'm, I'm not a good customer. You know, I may give you a referral if we get to know each other over time, but that's how blunt I am. <laughs> but I never say I don't have time. Really what, what should be said is that's not a priority for me. That's blunt. That's pretty direct. That's pretty honest. And that is just more of a, that's my communication style. I just keep it real. But, you know, I don't like the, I don't like sayings that make it, make us like check out from thinking. Like to say I have no time is kind of like a cop out statement. So again, I love her, but at the same time, and this is not what I, I told her, obviously. <laughs> this is what I tell you because I can keep it real with y'all and I can keep her name private so she doesn't. <laughs> okay, anyways, here we go. So she says, sorry. By the way, all is great, just super, super busy with work. Blessed, hope you are well too. I also don't like to use the word busy, I like to say productive, assuming I am being productive. <laughs> um, busy just sounds like you're filling time. So, just some minor communication things and things I think about whenever I communicate. But I think they're important. They're subtle. They're subtle, but they're important. <laughs> Alright, I said no problem. If you stay on LRP or auto ship, you can get free oils and adjust your cart anytime keyword any time to whatever amount you want based on what you need so there is a lot of control and flexibility with the doTERRA LRP you just gotta utilize it right toothpaste ain't no good and won't get your teeth white if you never use it right so we gotta brush our teeth it is a little work but that's the same kind of concept even as low as one dollars a month if you feel like you don't need much so yeah just to keep your points you can just do one dollars a month it's going to be hard to find a product that is a dollar that doTERRA offers <laughs> typically it's like four or five bucks for like lip balm but anyways the concept's still there it's free to join or cancel the lrp at any time so again it's like yoga it's flexible you just have to use it and know how to use it which i do offer lots of training on it's like a frequent flyer rewards program or hotel rewards program. So I'm just reiterating the education that I did during our wellness consult a little while back. And I says you can call doTERRA to switch to LRP and you would get about $33 in rebate points redeemable for free oils. Otherwise you get no rebate points as it stands, which option works best for you. So I always want to, you know, make sure that they're in choice and give them their options. And she says, hi Lance, I can call them tomorrow. So then she responded back. I said, good morning, sounds good. Their number is 1-800-411-8151 and they are open until 1 p.m. today. This was on a Saturday that I messaged her back and I gave her her member ID just for convenience, a little bit of customer service there on my end up front because I don't want you know them to be like, hey, what's your member ID number? And she'd be like, oh, I don't know. And so I gave her that up front. So one less hurdle to get in the job down there. I said, hey, how are you? So I followed up later. I was seeing if you're still open to switching your account to LRP this month to get the additional product credits from doTERRA and bonus oil samples from me. So I actually messaged her and she actually said she was going to do it on the 15th of that month. And she actually didn't do it until later. Actually, she didn't do it. <laughs> so I was following up because it was like the end of the month and I wanted to make sure that her order was placed. So she said, yes, I'm sorry, I had a lot of stuff come up and got distracted and forgot. So that basically tells me it wasn't a priority, which I understand. She's a mom, she's got kids, she's got a husband, she's got work, she's an accountant. I get it. I understand. So I'm not discounting her experience or life at all. I'm just asking for myself. So I, I don't ever expect this of other people, but I'm just saying for myself, because I see this so much, I just preemptively try to communicate a little bit more honestly and say oh and she did she was being honest she was saying you know i forgot and got distracted and stuff um but before it was just like you know i'm busy or you know like <laughs> other stuff which is kind of true too i mean people say they're busy I, I don't know where i'm going with all that i just value beast just being upfront and real and saying hey it wasn't a priority and yeah i did forget or hey i didn't mark it on my calendar because i think every time that's said I, I guess what i'm ultimately looking for is like what action steps are you going to take to take care of yourself basically like because if I feel like I have to keep following up with you I don't mind doing it in one sense but part of me is like it's kind of like when your kids move out when they're 18 it's like how much more do I have to keep paying for you after helping you out for the first 18 years you know putting clothes on your back and food and roof over your head and I'll, I'll help you out after 18 but like if I still gotta wipe your <laughs> you know what I mean? you're just like Okay. All right. I said, no problem. Their customer service closes at 1 p.m. today, and today is the last day to get all the freebies. So, and then she responded back, done. So she did that. 
I said, awesome, you'll get 33 product credits. So I wanted to summarize all the value she was getting uh, for your LRP order, redeemable for free oils. And I'll send you an email in the next couple days of the tracking number of your oil sampler package, which includes dryer balls as a thank you. So I hooked her up with some little extra stuff Aww. because, and another person order was gonna help qualify me for higher commissions in the month as well. So it was gonna be a win-win. You know, I try to create win-win situations. If I'm gonna get paid a little bit more in the month because, you know, she had an LRP order, then I want to give a thank you as well, just because it, it helped me out. And she said, very cool, thank you. And I said, glad to help, and that was it. And so, why did I share that with you? Well, because I'm trying to give you real life experiences of what's going on in my life, but then also to kind of help gain perspective. I think that's so important. Like, I try to understand where they're coming from. I know, you know, her situation as a mom, as a business owner, as a wife. And I know that things can stack up, things can happen, things, you know, where you don't place your order or you, or in her case, she was on Del doTERRA LRP, felt like she wasn't getting what she needed and getting orders then that she didn't need <laughs> because she wasn't updating her cart, basically. That would actually solve that if she just put it in her calendar or like, hey, here's my ship date and I just need to update my cart before that ship date. So my ship date every month is the 10th, just so I have enough time when a month starts to change it and update it. And I'm already doing that throughout the month, usually at least once or twice uh, before my ship date. But it's a priority for me, number one, because I get so much free product <laughs> because of where I'm at in the whole um, product credit things. I get 30% back on every purchase on top of the 25% off as a wholesale member. And then with the free products of the month and the fact that I am tied to commissions and want to make sure that my customers are getting the most value and education at the end of the day, that I have a higher incentive to take care of myself as well so that I'm a product of the product and I live what I teach as well and, or live what I share and, and things like that. So I think, yeah, updating her cart, maybe putting a calendar reminder in her phone would be a couple ways to prioritize that activity. Because at the end of the day, she is creating a wellness lifestyle that is allowing her to try to have a higher quality of life. And she did have a lot of health priorities when we did our wellness consult. So she definitely needs the products. It's just the whole updating the cart thing. <laughs> Um, and again, doTERRA sends email notifications and text notifications, but if you read it and don't do anything, that's a, you know, that's, that's not doTERRA's fault. That's not my fault. There's, so there's more personal responsibility, I think, that is required into maintaining that self-care lifestyle and habit. And like I said, love it or death, uh, but at the same time, we got to want this, right? We got to want to not just say, hey, I love the oils and the supplements and they do help, but yeah, I'm going to update my cart. I'm going to do whatever it takes to make sure that I create that wellness lifestyle that allows me to have a higher quality of life and most importantly, maintain that. So by her getting off doTERRA LRP, even though she needs the products, it basically creates opportunities for her quality of life to dip and dip and dip. And then when she places a one-time standard order, she's not getting all the savings, right? So she's, and she's, yeah, getting them when she needs them or maybe getting what she wants, but she's not getting the type of savings that she could get. She's limited to, you know, all of that, right? And so, and then also standard one-time orders are really just if you just want the products and you don't want to save the most money that you possibly can. So in your mind, you're kind of like, well, why wouldn't you want to save the most money? is because sometimes people don't like auto ship because they feel locked in when you're not it's free to join free to cancel um, you just again it's like a frequent flyer program or hotel rewards program you get a lot of value if you actually use the products and remember to update your cart it's I, it, I don't know for me after being in doTERRA for almost five years it's a no-brainer it's really simple and because I know the products in and out for me it's like like why wouldn't you be on doTERRA LRP like if, I'm on now, right? Um, but I understand, again, I try to put myself in their shoes, you know, people get busy, and if it's not a priority, they're not going to do it. So. Okay, I don't want to beat a dead horse. Anyways, point is, I'm still here there to help people regardless of, you know, what they're doing or not doing, and, you know, there's other customers that I try to help like that, and they either, you know, it kind of hits a wall, and they don't really do anything else, and there's some people that... I never have to talk to you because they take care of their health and they, they do it automatically. So there's a full spectrum of people that are really low maintenance and just get it done right on this end. And then there's people that are high maintenance <laughs> and want you to handhold and spoon feed and for like ever. And I'm just like, I love you all, 
but how can we meet, reach a middle ground where I do walk alongside of you and help you out as long as I can, but at some point, you got to want this for yourself. And if it means you get off doTERRA LRP or you cancel your membership or you do other things because you just don't want to take care of your health and do so in an empowered way, then so be it, you know? Like, I'm okay with that. I'm fine. And even if they go to a competitor or somebody else or a different company or just start buying on-the-shelf like oils, for me, I'm just like, you know what? I helped you as long as I could. You didn't see the value in it. I can't force you to see value in something that you don't want to see. I, I still love you. I still got love for you. Aww. If you want to come back, open arms, right? Open, open arms. But... At some point, you gotta want this for yourself enough where you take care of business. You take care of yourself and you do so in a, an empowered way. And that means you understand the benefits of the oils, the uses of the oils, how to update your uh, doTERRA LRP cart, uh, how to redeem your points, how to change your credit card, you know, in there. There's some other things too, but, you know, I offer training on that. But those are, you know, once you get in the habit, it's easy. It's just getting in the habit. And it's easy to do. It's also easy not to do, and that's where the rub is. Well, that concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button if you did. Hit subscribe if you haven't already done so for future video updates, and check out some of the video links in the description below so you can continue to get your learn on and you know get some more perspective, maybe some best practices, some things to do, some things to not do, and go from there. And I'll see you in the next video.